As you'll probably recall back in January, David Lee Roth kicked off the new year with a series of unhinged rants aimed primarily at Sammy Hagar and Wolfgang Van Halen, especially where he released multiple videos aimed at Wolfgang. This is part of a radio program that David Lee Roth has on his YouTube channel where he produces skits and he was really cruel, especially to Wolfgang. Now it's interesting because Wolfgang Van Halen, I've never seen him do anything that warranted the way that David Lee Roth dealt with him, which was very aggressively. And he is referencing things that it sounds like Wolfgang was doing as a kid, if it's even true, uh, what relevance that even has to today. And also just the basic respect for the things you accomplished with Eddie Van Halen throughout your career to be attacking his son when his son is not doing anything to be provocational towards you. I haven't seen anything like that. Uh, Sammy Hagar, he seems to be upset about the episode that took place late last year. When Hagar invited everyone, including David Lee Roth, out on the tour, Roth publicly accepted that invitation. It seems as though Hagar thought that Roth interpreted that as he would be on the entire tour, even though Roth never said that. I think that maybe Hagar was a little bit surprised that Roth actually agreed to do it, but that's a whole nother story. But still, he was also pretty harsh to Sammy Hagar. Let me know what you all think about this in the comments. I want to make sure I noted that so much of that tension between David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar goes back many years, all the way back to 1985, when Sammy Hagar replaced David Lee Roth following his departure from the band. They've been pretty much competitive rivals since then, so that's a bit more understandable than this feud here with Wolfgang Van Halen. This is what he said about Sammy as it pertains to that big summer tour that Sammy's gonna be doing later this year. This is from Blabbermouth, who I've linked to in the description. Now you can probably tell from the logo here that I'm interested in UFOs, and Hagar has previously claimed that he was actually abducted by some extraterrestrials. He says they were communicating with him telepathically, which is something that a lot of people who claim that they've been abducted will say. Um, and so Roth is kind of mocking his claims here where he says, I know that when you're abducted by aliens, you get probed. I'm compelled to solicit this sordid subject in an effort to explain Sam Hagar's conduct for the last 10 summers. I haven't said a single syllable about him, not one, I defy you. And in the face of a constant fart gas aimed in our direction here at the Mojo Dojo Diamond Dave Laboratories. And I think we've arrived at both the technical and the medical answer that may explain some of Sammy Hagar's conduct and his constant spew of diarrhea vitriol in our direction. Sammy Hagar was abducted by aliens and he was probed, sex probed. He goes on to continue that he had no idea what the probe procedure might entail. Does it require apparatus, etc. But he goes, but what I do know with an absolute accuracy is that if you take half a popsicle and you jam it into a cassette tape player, no matter how carefully you extract it, the tape player will never play the same again, no matter how carefully you try and fix those delicate little parts. And it'll get worse. It'll never seem like the singer that you used to be and will stop making sense whatsoever. A lot like Sam. He's speaking kind of ambiguously there, which is like classic David Lee Roth, the way he communicates. And I don't know if that necessarily holds water because no one that I've seen has accused Sammy Hagar, Sammy in the circle of putting on a bad show, but I digress. Now, this is what he had to say about Wolfgang Van Halen. This was especially harsh. And then we're gonna have Wolfgang's response. Here it is from People. It says, David Lee Roth is airing out his issues with Wolfgang Van Halen. A founding member, Roth, and lead singer of Van Halen expressed contempt towards Wolfgang, the band's bass player and son of the late Eddie Van Halen. Uh, in a YouTube video on Wednesday, the video begins with a fake interview. Again, he's like doing a skit. Um, and he says, bro, I want people to know I got this job because of my talent. A Wolfgang impersonator says, I would have this job anyway, even if my dad wasn't God. I just want people to know I got this job because of my talent. Roth, 69, then mocks Wolfgang, who replaced the original Van Halen bassist Michael Anthony for allegedly claiming the singer didn't pay attention to him on stage. According to Roth, the younger Van Halen threw a woman who Wolfgang thought was Roth's girlfriend, but was actually an accountant in charge of payroll for the tour out of two concerts to get back at him for it. Roth also shared the video on Instagram and captioned this effing kid. I guess for me, I just don't really understand the timing of this. He's referring to things that appear to have happened when Wolfgang was either a teenager or a very young adult, if it's even true. But if it is true, it's something he did for, as a kid. I'm not sure why you're really telling the story. And then also, you traveled the world and accomplished so much with his dad. I just don't understand why you're attacking his son. I, I could understand if Wolfgang was going around trashing him, 
This is not something he's done. He very much focuses on releasing music. Great songwriter, great live show. Uh, so I don't really get that. And then of course, there's just a natural component of this as well, where you just have to go, it's Dave being Dave. But Wolfgang does have a theory about why he's doing it. And so does Sammy Hagar. Sammy Hagar had this to say in response to what Roth was saying about Wolfgang. Sammy was asked about the entire ordeal when he was on the red carpet for the Music Cares Person of the Year ceremony. He said, look, if you really think about what he said, it's like, do I sense a little tinge of jealousy in there or something? Hagar, who was among the performers of the event, does he feel like he's left out or something? I mean, honestly, the only thing I can say without being cruel is he needs to find a new dispensary. That one's not working for him. And so now you have Wolfgang Van Halen responding directly to this. He was asked about it during a recent interview and he was very candid and I thought he had a really perfect response. He put forth a theory as to why David Lee Roth may be saying this about him. So check this out. It says Wolfgang Van Halen has reacted to a recent rant in which he was verbally assaulted by David Lee Roth for incidents that allegedly occurred when they were both in Van Halen. Back in January, Diamond Dave posted a video to his YouTube channel, We Know This. And you have Wolfgang being asked on the Morning X with Barnes and Leslie transcribed by Blabbermouth. He said that he thinks the reason Roth would spew such vile venom towards him, he responded, I guess I'm honored he even thinks about me as much as he seems to. I guess you have to take what he says with a grain of salt, considering he also said he wrote Eddie Van Halen's Eruption and came up with the Frankenstein guitar. He said he wrote all of the solos that my dad wrote. Wolfgang went on to say, I guess that's all I can say. I seem to have been born into this Van Halen drama that has come way before me. And he goes, and I guess now that my dad isn't here to be a target, I guess he went to the next best thing. And Wolfgang shot down the possibility of participating in a tribute concert or tour. He said, I don't wanna play that music without my dad, which is a perfectly reasonable answer. So for me, at least as it pertains to a feud with Sammy Hagar, you can kind of understand it because they were both the front men of Van Halen. So there's that comparison and they've always had that feud. The Wolfgang Van Halen, even when you hear his response, he could have gone below the belt. He didn't even go belong below the belt. And so you just look at David Lee, it just doesn't make a lot of sense when he's citing things from 10 years ago. And it's, you know, David Lee Roth is a wild dude and he's hard to predict and he is very eccentric. And so you never really know what you're gonna get with him. So I don't know. The only thing I do know is if you haven't seen Wolfgang Van Halen live, I would strongly recommend going to see him. He puts on a great live show. I've read a lot of comments from people saying that I don't understand the David Lee Roth side of this. I would love for someone to explain this to me in the comments. I don't really see how this is warranted, but feel free to let me know. I'm always willing to hear what you guys have to say and I appreciate your feedback always. That is your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications on for the latest news and updates.